All right, everyone, today we're talking about what's in my stick bag. Actually, that's a trick question. I have two stick bags. I have an essential stick bag as well as an overflow stick bag for special occasion stuff. Now, a majority of what I do is teach, so my stick bag is catered towards percussion as well as drum set. And here it is, my Vader stick bag. First off, I wanna say just I'm a Vader artist and their products are amazing. Love it. This is probably the best stick bag I've ever owned. Um, it just kind of just takes a beating. But anyways, yeah, let's have a look. So, you got your front pocket right over here. Uh, I don't leave home without gaff tape, whether I need to tape up a drum or tape up something. Uh, let's see what else I have here. A little tool thing. I never know when I'm gonna need a screwdriver or a wrench or something. Let's see, a clutch. So funny thing about clutches, like I never want to be without one. So I have one uh, in my cymbal bag when I'm on a gig, as well as my uh, stick bag and then the snare bag. I just have it three separate areas. Um, just, I don't want to be without one. Uh, a marching drum key for high tension drums because I teach marching band stuff. Uh, a regular drum key, a cymbal sleeve. I like having these on hand. Let's see what else. And then another wrench, and that's the front pocket. Let's go look. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Cool, I'll just throw those on the floor. Next, what sticks I use. So I do teach uh, kind of percussion as well. So I have four mallets when I'm teaching the front ensemble stuff. I got uh, some timpani sticks, mallets I should say, whoops, as well as sticks. These are called, what are they called? The sizzle stick, um, half stick, half mallet. Then I have the monster brush. These are awesome. I take these to every session that I get called to do. These rods, whoops, these rods, these are totally amazing, love them. Uh, what else? What else is there? Brushes right in this little mesh pocket. Uh, what is it? Four sets of sticks. I normally just have four. I don't want to overload it. And I dropped it. Uh, a pencil. I always need a pencil for when I need to make notes on a chart or a student doesn't have theirs and I yell at them. I say, where's your pencil at? It's music, man. Music class, you always need a pencil. These guys are the Vader Buzz Kills. I love have, actually I, think I have two packs of these. Yep, two packs of these Vader Buzz Kill guys. And then let's look in the back. This is probably my number one thing I carry. It is a Dr. Beat. These things are awesome. If you have the money and the resources, I this is my biggest re recommendation. This thing just does it all. What else? And then the last thing, a cord to plug in. This is a quarter inch to eighth inch uh, for amplification if I need to run a rehearsal with a click or whatever. All right, now here's my overflow stick bag. This just hangs out in my room uh, if I need to grab something for uh, a session or a gig or teaching an ensemble piece that requires something specific. I pull it out of this bag. This kind of just hangs out in my room. Uh, what I have here are uh, OG uh, timpani mallets. I did this, uh, use these on a gig. The last time I used these was during Christmas time. I was on timpani on uh, kind of an orchestral kind of thing. So uh, this is kind of, I just throw this in here because I don't really use them too often. Uh, not one bass drum mallet, but two concert bass drum mallets. This is for stuff that requires rolls on the bass drum. Um, have those. Uh, I have vibraphone mallets, so uh, the other mallets I had my stick bag, my other stick bag were marimba mallets. These are vibraphone mallets. Um, so these mallets are a little different. What is it? Rattan wood. So they're a little more flexible than the regular birch mallets. Um, xylophone mallets right over here uh, for xylophone. Hard, hard little top. Uh, and then nylon brushes. These are awesome just for a kind of why brushes do it all for me. For a session, I'll probably breed in both sides because, or both, not both sides, but both brushes, just to have two different textures of sounds. 
and then lots of concert snare sticks just with different tips, different weights, different sizes, just to cover all my bases. So this is kind of like the more orchestral side that kind of camps out in here just in case I need uh, all the stuff. But yeah, those are my two stick bags. And that's my stick bag. And I wanna know what's essential in your stick bag that you can't leave home without. Comment with that below and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. If you want more drum nonsense, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions of anything drum related, feel free to reach out to me at spotsdrumhub at gmail.com. Thanks, take care.